Hey friends, coming to you live today from Williston, North Dakota. Looking outside this motel room, it looks to be a very nice day as well. Hey, today the Lord's put on my heart, friends, to, to share something. Uh, you know, Ecclesiastes 1.9 uh, makes the statement that there's nothing new under the sun. You know, with that being said, friend, each and every one of us should be able to relate to somebody in the Bible, a Bible character. There are so many of them, so many Bible characters. Matter of fact, you could go uh, get on a Bible app, uh, get yourself a Bible app and type in uh, anything that you want to type in pretty much, uh, and it'll come up. Because if it's been, I mean, if it's, if it could happen, it's happened here, trust me. If it didn't, it ain't ever going to, probably because there's nothing new under the sun. It's very clear. The Bible's very clear about that. So I believe that that means that there's nothing new under the sun means that they're not going to come up with some rail system that's going to get us from the East Coast to the West Coast in 30 minutes. And I don't think that's what we're talking about, something new under the sun. It's personalities. It's us as people. With that being said, with all these different people in the Bible, different personalities in the Bible, there's got to be one in there that you can relate to. Find that one person in the Bible that you can relate to. Find out how God related to that individual. Check that out, see? Because what that tells us, friend, it tells us that there's hope for us if we can read and have an understanding of how things went. I mean, you think about David, King David, huh? Wow. He was sitting up on top of the roof of his, of, of his castle, looks down, sees some pretty lady. Hey, look what happens. Uriah, her husband, has him killed in battle. He ends up marrying this lady. I mean, hey, if it can happen, it happened. But you know what God said? David was a man after his own heart. Friend, there is hope in them stories and in Bibles and in, in, in the Bible and the people of the Bible. Find somebody in the Bible that you can relate to. And then find out how that person in the Bible grew that relationship with God or how, how that all come together. So you'll be able to study and read it. And you'll have an understanding. Which should, friend, give you hope. See, I personally, Peter is who I personally, uh, that's kind of personally who I see in the Bible that I feel like I compare to the most. You know, you think about Peter. Peter went to uh, to the extremes of when they was crucifying Jesus to say he didn't know him three times, denied him. All the way to the point of his death when he said, you crucified Jesus upright, you're going to crucify me with my head down because I ain't worthy of being crucified with my head up. You see, friend? That's the kind of passion that's the kind of passion. I mean, just think about it. We went from denying to not even be worthy enough to, to be on a cross the same way Jesus was. So whoever it is in the Bible that you can relate to, get in there and dig into it. Find a story that can relate to your life a little bit and help it have that story help you to have hope. That's what I'm talking about today, friend. It's all about hope. It is. And knowing that we have a loving Jesus. And he's just waiting on us. He is. He's waiting on us to come to him. So, friend, do me a favor. If you find somebody in the Bible that you're relating to, please shoot me a little message on this deal. And let me know how it's affecting your life. That would be wonderful. Just wonderful testimonies. Just wonderful testimonies is what helps us to give us the strength that we need, them testimonies. So don't be afraid to share them. Till next time, God bless.